Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, from Marley House in Marley Park, from the beautiful surroundings of, of um, the Marley Domain, and from this lovely um, 17th century house. Um, we're going to be singing a few songs uh, with uh, Liam Momuenli, and my name is Katarina Garcia, and we'd like to um, welcome the participants of the annual Ephesus Conference 2021 um, in Prague, which is uh, held online. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll get rolling. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, met, um, we met through our children, didn't we? We at did, the, yeah. At the school gate. And um, we, we were lucky enough to have children in in a school called Lisna Nog, which is a Gaelic, an Irish-speaking school. And um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cultural mindedness in the school and a lot of people who, who, who are strongly uh, energized, nourished, and, and driven, I suppose, by culture. And um, Katya and I, we met at a concert. Well, we, we, I was... I was curating a concert to celebrate midsummer and um or mid midwinter mid midsummer was it midsummer or midwinter it was mid something mid, midwinter i think it was midwinter and it was 2016 and uh and captivated by her command of of these songs that are rich with story and um and and the, how how a voice can can embody the history of a people um, it never ceases to amaze me. So, and I would like to start first with a song that I wrote myself in Connemara when somebody asked me, "Would I would I consider writing a song in my own native language?" Which I hadn't done. I'm I'm well known as a rock and roll singer, and. Uh, but I'm also, in Ireland, I'm well known as a singer in the tradition of Irish. So this is a song called The Song of Possibilities. And really, I just put a lot of positive um, images. I suppose we're being led to believe so many things that are quite absurd sometimes, like the color of uh, your washing after you use a particular washing powder. So if you're willing, you know, you can, if you want to believe that, you can believe that. Or if you want to believe anything, the sky really is the limit. And I think that's what this song is about. So. Ne gärter 
so much Liam that's uh, thank you that's for joining me beautiful. on that <laughs> beautiful um, the, the next song well the song that I thought uh, we could follow our on uh, with um, is a song that I that I first heard when I think I was about 14 and mm -hmm. it really struck a note um, mm -hmm. for its a deep uh, sentiment of pacifism mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for its disdain of um, pointless conflict, of violence, and for its celebration of love mm -hmm. and sacrifice in the name of love. Um, it's the, the version of, of the song uh, that I that I sing. Uh, the song is called "The Banks of the Nile," mm. uh, and it reflects the the history of the Napoleon, Napoleonic Wars. Um, the version that I sing, I believe, is is English, but it is found in in different versions in the mm. Irish tradition as well. And it just always it's been with me for all those years, and I'm really happy to be able to to sing Where it. Where did you hear it then? Well. Um, the interesting thing, uh, I was living in Barcelona at the time and I got this recording from, from my father. Mm. Uh, he gave me a, a cassette back, back in the day and it was actually Sandy Denny uh, okay. who sang this version. Okay. And I, I learned it and have been singing it more or less to myself yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. ever since. I very, very seldom, but it's a beautiful, beautiful love song. And you, you grew up? I grew up in Barcelona. I was born in Prague. Okay, um, amazing. In, in the heart of a culturally really mixed family. Yeah. Uh, my, my mother is Czech, but my father was um, Spanish-Russian, of Spanish-Russian heritage. And um, his father was a Republican officer in, during the Spanish Civil War, who was exiled first to France and then to, to Russia where he met my grandmother and after a, a kind of an odyssey um, in the east, across the east uh, of, of Europe mm. and um, through the former Yugoslavia, they, uh, they set anchors in, in Prague and, and that's where my father was, uh, was born and where my parents met. Mm. Uh, but after being born in Prague, I grew up and was raised in, in Barcelona. Okay. In Spain, in the uh, during the period of, of transition to democracy, so that was a very interesting time yeah. to be in in Catalonia as well. So yeah, that's where I started listening to to the banks of the Nile, and and yeah, just completely, um, yeah. I know the way a song can do that. Yeah, it just it just struck a note at yeah. the time. Please, let's hear it. To 
join the British Army on the banks of the Nile. Oh, Johnny, dearest Johnny, don't leave me here to mourn. Don't make me curse and rue the day that ever I was born. For the parting of our love would be like parting with my life. So stay at home, my dearest love, and I will be your wife. Oh, Nancy, dearest Nancy, Sure, that will never do. For the government has ordered, and we are bound to go. For the government has ordered, and the queen she gives command. And I am bound on oath, my love, to serve in a foreign land. But I'll cut off my yellow hair And I'll march along with you I will dress myself in uniform And I'll see Egypt too I will march beneath your She to smile, and we will come forward one another on the banks of the Nile. And your fingers, they are too small The sultry sons of Egypt Your rosy cheeks would spoil There the cannons, they do rattle And the bullets, they do fly and the silver trumpets sound so loud to hide the dismal cries. Oh, curse it be those cruel wars whenever they began. For they've robbed our country 
of many a handsome man. They have robbed us of our sweethearts. Now their bodies they feed the lions on the dry and sandy deserts that are the banks of the Nile. And the story continues. Yeah. The story moves on and brings us to the north of Spain, I believe. Yeah. yeah. To Galicia. Yes. Um, it's funny, I was listening to the radio coming here and um, you don't hear the word Galicia every day. But sure enough, the guy on the radio said, and we have some people here listening from Galicia, in Spain, he said. <laughs> From Galicia in Spain. <laughs> Such was his enthusiasm. Yes, um, today is the feast day of Colum Kille, and Colum Kille is a saint well known in Ireland um, as a navigator, as somebody who traveled, and I suppose somebody who lived a, a lifestyle that that went against the tide of what we, we've just been talking about, the tide of, of, of the need to dominate or the need to own everything, you know, and the, the, those, those people who, who, who recognize the absurdity of that way of thinking and also recognized, recognized the cruelty of that way of thinking. Um, some of them, would have been called saints, I suppose, and Colum Killer was one. And there was a man um, whose name we both know, Danny Sheehy. I met him when I was about 15 years old. And uh, my father introduced me to this man who was a great wild cultural living icon um, and a boatman, a fisherman, a uh, man who knew the plants and their native names of his own area and saw the value of that. And um, a man who just, a human, a real human, you know, and a man who looked things with a very piercing eye and a man in love with his native culture. And uh, so we celebrate his life. He passed away four years ago on this day on a boat in the north of Spain, um, off the coast of Galicia and Portugal, where the Mina meets the sea. Um, we were in a boat and a, a, a wave took us from the left and, uh, and the next thing we were in the water and poor Danny didn't survive. <coughs> um, but for Danny, to, to have died on such a day, he loved symbolism. So I can only rejoice in that part of the story, that, ja that Danny would have taken great pleasure in the fact that his last breath was in such a place, which was in, on the Camino, the, the Camino de Santiago, the holy pilgrimage, being on a pilgrimage himself, on a boat, on an um, Umrav Naifa. And he loved, he loved the symbolism of things and how things balanced, the poetry of things. 
So <clears throat> I'm going to sing a song that um, another man who was on that boat, a singer, Brown Don O'Begliach, translated this song, the Cantiga, uh, one of the Cantigas of Galicia. He translated it into Irish. So we're going to share it. And yes. I am, yeah, I am going to, we're going to establish this dialogue between the Cantiga, number one, of mm -hmm. Martin Kodax, mm -hmm. who is the, I believe, the, the one, uh, the only author that we have, that we know by name, uh, of the so-called Galician Cantigas de Amigo. Martin Kodax uh, lived in the late uh, 13th, at the turn of the 13th and 14th century. And he composed these poems, these cantigas de amigo, this so these songs of, of um, the friend or of the beloved, mm. um, in a particular style, um, with a particular narrative, narrative voice. They are songs of longing, uh, songs of possible loss, but this loss is within the realm of possibility, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, the text by, by my Martin Kodax um, expresses this, um, this longing. It is a conversation with the sea, really, with the tides, with the waves yeah. uh, at Vigo, and the questioning of, of the sea, of where is, is my beloved? Where, where is, is my, my beloved friend? and my will you bring him back? Or will you bring him back? Yeah. Will I see him soon? Will I see him? Will he come? Will he come?
So, it's that time again. <laughs> we are going to perform the last two songs of our recital. And uh, they are going to be two uh, songs from Moravia to honor the fact that uh, this year the Ephesus Conference is um, organized by Charles University Prague. So we would like to um, thank the organizers of the conference, uh, in particular Radvan Markus, for making this performance possible. Uh, the two songs, um, in a way, close the circle that was initiated by Auron of Fejerachta the beginning, the song of possibilities. Those are two songs of possibilities. Mm. Uh, they are traditional songs from the region of Moravia and they both um, recount uh, possible scenarios. The first one, Snila, Samyo Snila, I had a dream, uh, was collected from a lady uh, by the name of Anna Drevjana in Janowice Ufritku. And uh, in it, a young girl or, or a, a mature woman, whichever, whichever you would like to project into, into the song, yeah. is uh, considering where she, given a choice to live her life again, uh, she would rather be an apple tree, a young apple tree in an orchard. And in spring, she would fill the air with the scent of apple, apple blossoms. And in the autumn, she would entice the world with beautiful ripe apples. And we will follow this song with um, another uh, Moravian song, this time from the village of uh, Komnia. Lubi Sami Lubi, I love, yes, I love. Uh, the girl is making her choice um, between three lads, three young men. And we, were, we are going to be delighted to invite Beta Baigertova, our camera woman, an independent filmmaker, to join us in this, uh, in this, uh, these two songs. Mladu jablunečku, v 
Antošo, hajko, 